most of the time people assume that sim simply because we are earning money, we have turned our emotions towards money. But it's a miss. It takes a lot of intentionality. If we don't tame the emotions, we are out of the game without a doubt. The blessing of ownership is limited, but the curse of ownership overwhelms the blessing. What you own, you protect. What you access, is protected. The kingdom is about a king, a domain, and a mandate. A king in whom we submit to. And we need to know that there are many kings and money can quickly be a king. As kingdom, therefore, there has to be a king to submit to. But there has to be emotions to be subjected. What I find so appealing about this class is the transformation and focus on people and not about uh, money or things. An obedient population is a subjective population because obedience is how we put you in your place. If a child go to sleep, I don't care whether you feel like sleeping or not, go to bed or day. But submission is different. Submission comes from a different place altogether. Because submission is, I have brought myself to the, the master says, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but soundness of mind. From a place of soundness of mind, I have objectively decided to submit myself to this authority. We hear so many people complaining, oh, my boss is not doing, oh, the government is not doing, oh, basically complaining. So that concept of taking control and building infrastructure that gives value, gives is structured around your values, around your beliefs, and around the kingdom economic basis. That was the best part of the day. Thinking about occupation, a position, uh, and mapping them with the presentation of Jesus and how they make who we are and they remove the emotion, no bit of us, to one's world, to one's money, and make us even more uh, compassionate rather than being emotional was just a takeaway for me. As participants in an economy, we have to change roles, from the roles of reacting to the roles of observing. And we have to continually ask ourselves, could it be I'm wrong? Yeah? as opposed to assuming that we are right. Before this, I wasn't the kind of person who would actually even um, go for an, uh, an investment class, because I always thought that it would be complicated, it would be something that I wouldn't be able to understand. Uh, but I really like the fact that in this class, the language is, as I say, says it's human. Uh, he uses examples which are relevant to us, we can understand it. We got to learn a lot about uh, transformative uh, economics and basically the kind of way of uh, doing businesses. Just the simplicity of the messages and the practicality of them is what I find completely appealing and it speaks to me. And um, I look forward to um, all, the, all the other stuff that we get from this class and just uh, being able to then transform my life, be able to transform other people's lives.